for this uh, next video lecture, so we will be focusing on the sources of short-term financing. Okay, so short-term credit. Okay, normally this uh, credit is scheduled to be paid within one year or within the normal uh, course of operation of a certain entity. So here, we have different uh, sources of short-term credit. So the first one is we have the spontaneous sources. So under the spontaneous sources, we have first the trade credit, or this is normally known as our accounts payable. So here, um, this is considered to be spontaneous financing because it is automatically obtained when a firm purchases goods or services on credit from their supplier. So meaning to say this um, accounts or trade credit or accounts payable is considered to be a spontaneous source of credit because uh, it is um, a normal uh, activity okay, that is taken uh, place, that has taken place in um, their uh, course of operations so because they can automatically obtain this okay like if they purchase on account okay, the goods and services from the suppliers okay so the this uh, source also is a continuous source of financing and more readily available than the other negotiated sources of short-term credit because in this case um the entity might already established a credit uh, relation with their suppliers in which um, they are allowed to be given a grace period before they can uh, pay for their uh, credit purchases. So uh, another is um, the cost of trade credit usually bears no interest but it is not costless. So in this case, um, if there is no interest, may, um, that means to say that um, there is a grace period provided and um, the downside of it is that the entity will not enjoy or take advantage of the discount. Or there are, depending on the uh, arrangement, there are also suppliers who provide a discount if the, en the, the entity is able to pay for a, after three days, one week, and so on. But if they are uh, paid after that uh, discount period, then the discount will be lost. Okay, So its cost is implicit in the terms of credit agreed upon. So just like what we have mentioned, the discount policy and the credit period. So this are there are also other policies in which, okay, for example, the entity has paid beyond the credit period, so interest will now apply, or other uh, additional cost will be charged thereof. So the second uh, spontaneous source of short-term credit is the accrual or what we know as the accrued expenses. So here, um, this is another form also of uh, spontaneous financing as mentioned. So this represents the liabilities for the services that have been provided to the company but it was not yet paid for. Okay, so meaning to say here, we have already received uh, the services or the services were already rendered to us but we haven't paid it yet okay so this is the accrual uh typical examples of this are the accrued wages and the taxes okay, in which we will pay that in uh, a certain period of time as provided by the contract or there is a scheduled date of payment Okay, so the third spontaneous source is the deferred income. So here, uh, the customer's advance payment or deposits for goods and services that will be delivered to some future date. So deferred income 
okay is um we received in advance the payment from our customers but we have not yet delivered the goods or we have not yet rendered the services due to them okay so we will provide it at a later future date okay so in this case um since they have already paid in advance we can use already that uh, amount of cash okay so the second source of short-term credit is what we call negotiated sources so we have the following uh, types under this source so number one is commercial bank loan okay so negotiated source so short this is are the commercial bank loan is a short-term business credit that is extended by commercial banks so they require the borrower to sign a promissory note to acknowledge or to serve as a proof of the debt which will include the maturity date and the interest rate okay so normally commercial bank loan has interest so here we have two types of interest the first one is the regular interest so this is uh, computed by Okay, dividing the interest by the borrowed amount. Okay, so this is our rate or the percentage of interest that um, the borrower will pay okay, along with its maturity or uh, along with its principal amount or depending on the contract if it is payable every uh, certain period specified in the contract. Okay, the second type of bank loan interest is the discounted interest rate. So, meaning to say here, um, the proceeds okay, that the borrower will get is already deducted by the interest okay, of the loan. So, meaning to say here, um, the loan is net of interest. Okay, so that is, uh, it will be received net of interest. So how to determine this? Okay, the formula is interest divided by borrowed amount minus interest. Okay, so again, uh, the, co the cost of bank loan interest will depend on your contract. Uh, num th the next type of negotiated source of short-term credit is the commercial paper okay so commercial paper is a short-term unsecured promissory notes or ious that is being issued by large firms okay so this is with a great financial strength and investors so they are uh, such as the trust funds banks and insurance companies Okay, so commercial papers uh, entails lower cost than that of the bank financing. So this is uh, the one disadvantage, however, of this um, source of uh, fund is that there is limited access and availab availability. Okay, so this is for the negotiated sources. Okay, another is uh, the commercial paper only uh, the largest firms with the greatest financial strength can issue this one okay, if you are small and with uh, least okay financial strength then it's it, it's possible but I guess the investors would not be willing to invest for that okay because investors or lenders are also looking into your capability to pay okay so that's one of the considerations under this source so the amount of funds available is limited to excess liquidity of the big corporations okay and the third source of a short-term fund is factoring of your accounts receivable so a factor you need to say there is someone or a third party who would want to buy your accounts receivable 
and assume the risk of collection. Okay, normally, if, for example, you have a bank loan, you can uh, make your accounts receivable or even your inventory as your collateral. So, in case that you cannot pay okay, for those loans, then you can factor that accounts receivable in payment of your loan or you can sell that if they're willing to buy. So, this, of course... Uh, along with uh, factoring the accounts receivable, so the risk of collection or not collecting will be transferred also to that uh, entity who factors your accounts receivable. So another uh, other source okay, of the short-term funds is the banker's acceptances. So this is uh, often used by importers and exporters. So this is where uh, this source is or sources of fund is um, being utilized. Okay, so these are the drafts drawn by a non-financial firm on deposits of a bank. So here, uh, the bank's acceptance is a guarantee of the payment at maturity. But of course, in this kind of sources, it should have to have a collateral and the entity should be bare, I mean, good credit standing and uh, with reputation and are able also okay, to uh, provide payment when the liabilities will fall true. Okay, so these are the sources of short-term financing.